Good. From your practice, you should now be familiar with the following DNA rules. You should understand base pairing and be able to put in the opposite complementary strand relative to a piece of DNA. You should understand polarity that we talked about before, the five prime and the three prime ends of nucleic acid. And you should understand the concept of anti-parallel strands where one strand goes five prime to three prime and the other three prime to five prime. This will set you up for the next thing that we're going to talk about, which is DNA replication. What do we mean by DNA replication? We mean that DNA is produced by copying a DNA template. DNA replication produces DNA from a DNA template. This is a process that takes place in the nucleus of the cell, and it is the mechanism by which DNA, the genes, make more of themselves before they undergo cell division, mitosis or meiosis. What do we mean by DNA replication? Let us start by looking at a piece of double-stranded DNA. And I'm not going to put in the exact nucleotides. I'm just going to put some dots and things to represent the nucleotides. So here is one strand. And here is the anti-parallel strand with the complementary bases. DNA is replicated, firstly, by separating the strands. So a process of strand separation leads to two strands, the top one, five prime, plus the bottom one that goes three prime to five prime. These two separated strands now serve as templates, something to copy in order to make more DNA. So each strand is a template that is then copied to make the complementary DNA. And the outcome will be that this top strand, five prime to three prime, will be filled in with its complement, the matching other strand, and the bottom template that went three prime to five prime will be filled in with its matching complementary strand. So out of this one DNA template, or this one double-stranded piece of DNA, there are two single-stranded templates that then lead to two new DNA molecules that are identical to the one that you started with. So you've doubled the amount of DNA and made identical new molecules starting with this parental DNA template. This is DNA replication. It is how your genes are replicated from cell division to cell division, from parent to offspring. It, the process is absolutely dependent on base pairing. Without base pairing, you wouldn't know which the right strand was. It would be a mess. But because of base pairing, because of complementarity, you can take the two strands, fill them in, and come up with DNA that is identical to the parent. So here is your parent DNA, and here is your new DNA, and they are identical. Very profound. Let's take a look at a couple of slides. So here is a double-stranded DNA template. I've put in just some of the nucleotides. The strands separate. DNA replication occurs from each three prime end. Now there's a little wrinkle here that you need to know. 
DNA replication doesn't exactly occur the way I drew it on the board. It occurs with a running start. It needs a little tiny piece of DNA called a primer that allows the DNA then to elongate from that three prime end. So there's something called an RNA primer which matches a little bit of the DNA and that then gets elongated. Okay? What is really, really crucial here is that using the rules of complementarity and adding on to the three prime end, we make two identical DNA molecules that are identical to the parent. Okay, and I see here on the board, I must add a three prime end there. Okay, if we look at a representation of the double helix, this is what it looks like more in the cell. The DNA has the spiral helical form it unwinds so that you get two single strands in part of the helix, and then those single strands get filled in with new DNA. There's some various nuances that we're not discussing here. I threw out the notion of a primer to you. All that means is that there's a three prime end you can add onto, but the notion is as we have put it on the board, single strands filled in with the complementary bases, and voila, you have DNA replication. Take a look at assign the next assignment, the next class exercise, and see if you can replicate DNA.